Hello everyone, in this video I'll be talking about solving an assignment problem using the Excel Solver tool and uh, in this particular problem uh, I have uh, with me six men who uh, are capable to do six different jobs at different costs. This is the cost matrix of assignment which is already given here. So my objective is to assign each one job to one person in such a way that so total cost of assignment is minimum. So that is it. I'm going to solve it. Uh, manual solutions are already there available with my different lectures. You can see them. And this particular video is specifically about using the Excel solver tool, which can give you a simple solution in uh, certain clicks. So in order to do that, first we need to create a platform. So first I would write uh, some, uh, you know, tricks I have to play here. One thing is demand. That means how much each job demands. So if I look into the thing, each job demands only one man. And if I look into the requirement, that means you can think this way that each man requires only one job. Uh, you can flip it over. That's not a big catch. You can write requirement here. That means each job requires one man, uh, one job, and uh, you can rewrite the demand here that a man demands one job. So uh, these are the requirements. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sum. Uh, use the sum function here, and that sum function is about uh, just a minute. Let me correct it. So it is about summing up the cost of assignment right here. That means summing up the allocation, sorry, not the cost here. And then again, I'm going to use the sum function. And uh, okay, what I can do is I can easily pull the things from here. So I've already applied a sum function here. I just pull it up. And then I'm going to apply a sum function here. That is the sum of all these assignments. And I'll pull it down. I'll keep explaining you the logics, what exactly I'm doing. So uh, fundamentally, right at this place, I'm going to use this particular matrix to allocate the jobs. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it at another place. So and I delete all this stuff right from here. Now, let me explain it to you. Like I've explained in the transportation problem video, you can see that here I'm going to make the allocation. That means which job is going to go to which person. So if you look in the first row, first row is going to talk about that to which man this particular job A goes. So it can go to either job uh, to man one, man two, man three, man four, man five or man six, any of them. So the assignment of the job should not exceed one. That means it will be one will represent that this particular job. So let us suppose one appears in this cell. This will simply mean that job A is assigned to third man. So total number of assignments cannot be more than one, right? So uh, job assigned. So let us suppose job is assigned here. So I, uh, one, one is going to appear here. And what is the cost of this particular job right here? 58 rupees. That means if first man does the third job. So same way I'm going to sum all the costs uh, of, uh, I mean, so I, I would say that I will sum all the costs of the different jobs. So I'm going to find my objective here, assignment cost or cost of assignment you can say that and it will be some product of assignments so be careful about the selection to the costs right now it will appear of course zero because there is nothing in the upper matrix now i'm going to the platform is ready to fit to solver i'm going to go to data i'll pick up the solver tool from here now my set objective cell is this that means where i'm going to calculate the assignment cost I want to minimize this cost by changing these variable cells add so all these jobs should be less than equal to one that means each job can be assigned only to one man while here I'm going to select a greater than or equal to sign that means a man can have more than one job click OK I'm going to select simplex LP and solve so it's working and that's it i get it so that's my total cost of assignment which has been calculated i'll keep the solver solution so this is my total cost of assignment and the job a goes to man one right while uh, if i look into job b it goes to man six 
job C goes to man 2, job D goes to man 3, job E goes to man 5, job F goes to man 1. So all six jobs are allocated to six men with a minimum assignment cost of rupees 142. I'm sorry, I did it wrong. I just have to give a currency sign. Oh, what is happening? Just a minute. That's it. So total rupees 142 is the cost, minimum cost of assigning the job to men. Thank you very much. Manual solutions you can see from my different YouTube videos.